There's high adventure in the activities at Big Creek Port in southern Belize. Follow the crew bringing in this cargo ship to Big Creek Port to unload. The tugboat goes out at dawn to meet the ship, then they run neck and neck, close enough to touch. This is a high-speed rendezvous, allowing these two Belizean men to board this cargo ship. These men will take control of this ship and steer it into port, and this is how it begins. A sailor on the cargo vessel throws a line to the tugboat. The men wrestle the huge rope onto the tugboat and tie it securely. And then the tug lurches forward. Diesel smoke blurts out of the stacks as two giant diesel engines roar to life, stretching this rope to its limits. Next, it's a hard left turn, slinging this giant ship in between the buoys marking the channel. The captain of the tugboat and the two Belizean men steering the cargo vessel work together like three basketball players making a run down center court heading for the layup. Here at Big Creek Port, this slingshot maneuver is how it's done, and these men are good, as you will see for yourself. As they approach the port, the tug puts on speed and then cuts the rope, leaving the cargo ship with enough momentum to drift into port. When the cargo ship is beside the dock, the tugboat gets into position to push the cargo ship sideways against the dock. This tugboat is super powerful, and it's brute force and total control that this captain relies on. And that's why these diesel power plants have got to be ready to perform at a moment's notice. You get me? It's like stacking up blocks. Blocks that weigh five tons. The crane operator swings them up and around towards the landing spot. These are refrigerated boxes, so there's no banging them around. Men on the ground help guide the box safely down. And then a specially designed machine takes the box back and then up to the perfect height for a semi-driver to back under the box. Then it's loaded and gone, pretty as you please. It takes many trips to load a banana boat. And then we were off to load more containers onto the banana ship anchored offshore. The barge is used to transport loaded refrigerated containers to the banana ship. It will take many trips to load the super-sized ship and it's the port employees whose job it is to handle the freight and they are working hard as usual this time on the sea extraordinary men doing unusual jobs with unbelievable precision that's what's going on at Big Creek Port this is no ordinary job invited on board this ship I got a different perspective looking down from this high place was even more impressive how these men can perform these giant tasks and rule these powerful machines is truly impressive. But these men, mainly from Monkey River, are a tough breed, raised with the sea in their veins. Riding this box is like being on the shoulders of a dinosaur, lifted to some dizzying height. Seems like a dream job for a man who likes to be on top of the world. How awesome is that? From the bridge of this cargo ship, I could see everything like ultra-modern electronics used for navigating this super container ship across the Earth's oceans, like playing checkers with God. Before Big Creek Port, this ship was in St. Petersburg, Russia, a dedicated crew of men and women. Another day, another giant ship, this time an oil tanker here to transport our B&E crude oil to the refinery. Our star players are getting psyched up to take the wheel of this giant tanker. Try to imagine what it must be like for these Belizean men to walk on board this ship and just take over. Once again, there are no ordinary jobs at Big Creek Port. It was a privilege to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with men who put a leash on a monster like this and lead it like a pet pit bull back to the port. Can I get an amen? Just the nose of this tanker looks like the hammer of the gods and we were there to take over. Did you know that the captain can totally control his tugboat from this rear perch? Sure can. It's on us now, boys. Towing a car is one thing, but you don't dare get slack in the rope when you're pulling an oil tanker like this. And when you're leading the parade, it always gives you a particular thrill. Between the buoys is where you need to be with ships this large, and by next year the channel will be deeper for even bigger ships. Big Creek Port is growing. As we approach the port, all of this began to feel familiar, like this is something that I would like to do every day, just like the men of Big Creek Port. Up at dawn, the smell of the sea, the rocking of the waves, I could get used to this life. No wonder these men love their jobs, it's exciting. 
and then we were there, and the tanker needed its customary nudge into the dock. And when this tanker went into full reverse like some kind of parallel parking from hell, at that point, I fell speechless. All that was left was to tie down this monster, hook it up, and pump the crude on board. After all precautions and safety measures were in place. The trucks had been hauling the crude from B&E all week. Control, this is number one, living Iguana Creek. You might have passed them on the road, headed to Big Creek Port. Well, this job is done. Let's meet the administration. The port of Big Creek got started back in 1990 as a small banana port. Today, it has evolved into a deep water port that services a significant part of our export industry for Belize. The schedule of the fruit is very critical from the time it moves from the farms to the port onto the vessel to its final destination. We have never failed to get this cargo out every week for the past 25 years. We are very proud that Belize Natural Energy choose the port of Big Creek for their export of the crude oil from Belize. As you can see from the video, the oil tanker, the banana ship, are ships that visit our port regularly. And as a, as a part of improving our service to them, we have decided to deepen the channel leading to our port. So hopefully, within the next 12 months, we should have a deep enough channel to be able to facilitate these ships more readily and more easily. One may question, why such a significant investment to service such a small population of only 350,000 people? But you know what? We're preparing for the future. Our neighbors are also preparing, so we have to be abreast in order to take advantage when the opportunity comes. It's always better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one, than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. Overall, we have a bright future <clears throat> with our location and everything else to make the Big Creek Port a wonderful success in time with all the investments we have made to make it a port that will be very easy to dock the ships the right draft and everything else. Thank you.